Welcome to the th third stream of the weekend. This is honestly my third time doing a consecutive stream, and why is my... Hold up. Stop. Hang on. Uh. What the heck is going on with my model? Uh. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Hang on. Uh. Shoot. What? What is up with the tracking? Uh, give me just one second. I don't really need to... Hang on. Oh, hello! Uh. Oh, hey, Sleepy! Uh, I don't really have um, much else to say, so I'm just gonna get into the game. I don't know how long exactly I'm gonna be um, streaming today tonight, but hopefully I get to reach the average, the usual two hours. Anyway, hold up. Let's get going. Yeah, I don't think I changed any of the audio settings, so... Um, that's weird. Ah, wait. There we go. Was it loading for some reason? This one, I think. Let me check the... Levels real quick. I and I didn't even turn them on. <laughs> hmm. That's very weird. Let's try a little more. Um, there we go. I guess that should work. A little less. God. Down tad low? Okay, yeah. I figured. Hold up. Let me just raise this a bit higher. I didn't put any filters on this, did I? No. Strange. God, why does Amori have to do this? This freaking sound problem thing. Uh... Ah, that's too high. Come on. Uh, you know what? That should be fine. Alright. Anyway, let's see. We were gonna go up, I think. Hopefully that's, um, a bit better. Oh boy. Wait, so do I go in here? Because I remember um, the shadow going in here. It's a long way down. If you want to jump in, what? Huh. Let me just, uh. Is it. Yeah, that. Okay, that fixed it, yeah. Distance. Ah, that's loud, that's loud. Yeah, I think we're back to returning the mic at some point. What? Egret orchid. In the language of flowers, it symbolizes the phrase, My thoughts will follow you into your dreams. Okay. Oh! Okay. What? 
it's just me, right? Hold on. Okay, yeah, it's just me. I thought the sound was lagging a bit. Stop that. Here. Rounds of books, forgotten through time. The keepers of this library have long since passed. Oh, something? I find a book of interest. Reading excerpt? Okay. One by one, they fell asleep on the car ride home. It was a long day at the beach, after all, and everyone was exhausted. It was the first nod off, then the rest. As the sun set over the freeway, his head. Their head accidentally dropped onto someone's shoulder. The sun jolt wakes him, but he doesn't dare open his eyes. He pretends to be asleep and steadies his breathing. He listens to the sound of the road. He feels the soft sun resting on his skin and the slight tinge of pain on his nose from tomorrow's sunburn. He is happy, very, very happy. And he makes a vow to himself that no matter what, he will remember this moment forever. It's gonna have some relevance, isn't it? Okay, I want to do something here? No. Oh, I just realized, is this um, the library from the castle? Is there more? Oh, there's another one here. Find a book of interest. Yep. A puddle of juice sinks into the carpet. Hovering above it is none other than Blank, holding an open juice box. He looks around at his friends, who are all wearing the same face of disappointment. He lets out a guilty chuckle. In what seems like less than a second, he disappears out the front door. A tiny black kitten makes her way through the stain, leaving sloppy wet tracks all across the carpet. His face turns red and yells for, <laughs> for him, but he is already long gone. He hands him some wet paper towels. It looks like they're the only adults here. And if they don't clean up this this up soon, the carpet's going to stain. They'll have to deal with him later. Hmm. Oh, okay, wait, there's a third one there. If I can get to it. These are all connected, though. It was a hot summer day, and all he could think about was why they couldn't do this tomorrow. The backyard was a mess. Planks of wood were strewn across the area. Paint stains blotched the grass thanks to <laughs> Blank and Blank's work. All day, he watched him lug planks of wood back and forth from his dad's pickup truck. He watched him hammer his fingers over and over and made note that over an hour had passed since he had climbed down her ladder. I will just be the more support, he thought, as he sat sleepily in the shade of his favorite tree. Of course, he knew this wouldn't be the case. Soon, his friends will be asking for his help, and he won't be able to refuse. The treehouse is for everyone, so it's only fair that everyone puts some work into it. He knows this and agrees, but reluctantly. He slides up and wobbles his way to the mess. He knows he should put in his fair share. It just had to be on the hottest day of, su of summer. Okay, there was a... Hello? Is there really still anything here? Anything here? Oh, I can deal with that later. This year, he was lucky enough to get assigned to a desk next to the small window. Every day during class, he would gaze listlessly through the opening, at the shadows of the trees, the clouds creeping overhead. His mind drifted elsewhere, into his own worlds, his own stories, his own adventures. He had a habit of doing this. It was easy for him to get lost. Today was the same as any other. He stared vacantly out the small window as the clouds passed one by one. Suddenly, a hand playfully slaps his back, 
snapping him out of his reverie. He looks away from the opening. He smiles. He motions that class is over and that it's finally time for lunch. It's pizza day today, and they need to bolt to the cafeteria before it's all gone. His stomach growls. He looks at the small window one last time. He would have to continue his adventure another day. Oh wait, I was just here. What's there? It's sunset. A strange statue watches over the hidden lake. It might have meant something significant in the past, but time has made its engravings illegible. Either way, it doesn't matter to the company visiting it today. They're only here to use it as a diving board. The brothers take turns jumping off the statue. He jumps first. Then he, then him. Then the first brother again. Then the second one again. The brothers glee gleefully urge him to join them, and after some careful thought, he warily agrees. He shuffles up the statue and looks down at the moving water. He can hear his heart beat. His ears begin to ring. His legs feel as if they would give out at any time. He tries to focus on his breathing. He feels something crawling on his shoulder, and his eyes fly open to meet the with those of a black spider. In an instant, he loses all sense and hurls himself into the lake. Water fills his nose. He exerts his limbs, but the water is stronger. He's too weak, too helpless. Or that is what he believes. He shuts his eyes and waits for the brothers to save him. Is there one on the other side? Nope. Of course. Hmm. <sighs> Is there one here? Oh! Oh, I got one of these! How come I can get some of the other ones? Hmm. One of these left. Is that an opening? Hold on, let me just check around for a minute. Oh! Here's one. Oh. And there's a light over there. Okay. This has to be the last one. Everyone is over again today. The special occasion is Saturday morning. From 7 a.m. to 11 a.m., a group of six friends eat a delicious homemade breakfast and watch TV together. It's the most enjoyable part of every week. He looks at the clock. 8 a.m. Two hours left. He will be, he would be able to watch when ev with everyone else until 10 a.m. when his tutor arrives. He grimaces. What he thought would be a rewarding hobby has been nothing more than a nuisance. Instead of watching the shows with the rest of his friends, he'll be the only one to miss out. If only he could watch the last hour with everyone else. If only he didn't have to play the violin. What was that? Something open? Yeah. Wait, I saw something with the L key. Was that... Part of the shelf has been cleared out. There is a hole here. Look into the hole. Um, you know what? Yeah. Sure. Oh. Am I back in the white room? Oh. Basil! I think. Basil, please don't turn and have an ugly head. Oh! You did. Don't forget it's in the toy box. Oh god, this reminds me of... This is just Eve, isn't it? Of course there's a stab. Um, just give me one sec. Are the low eighth stage in a hall of in a large plane? I was torn. I've seen some other one. I saw the F one. Hmm. 
There has to be a C and a K. Framed faces between giant pinwheels. Was there? Hmm. At the end of a map in the barrel where- Oh jeez, this is a lot. Okay. Let's see if there's anything new in the book. Nope. Nothing. I mean, nothing's out of the ordinary. Oh boy. Here we go again. I probably should have put up the warning. My bad. Hold up. I actually forgot I had the warning up. Uh, give me one sec. This is honestly the worst place to pause it. Well, oh, god, whoop, wrong item. Uh, the warning is here. I'm just gonna, hmm? I'm gonna put that right over here. I'm sorry, give me one sec. This is gonna be really quick. Move that over here. I'm gonna move that over here. I kind of forgot this for the last two streams. I am so sorry. <laughs> All right. All right, back to Mike. Probably. <laughs> two days left. Oh. All right, we're progressing at least. Messages. Oh, yep. Hey, Mike. It's Mommy. Are you doing okay? You haven't been answering my calls or responding to my voicemails. If you keep ignoring me, I'll start to get worried again. I hope you're pacing your chores. I don't think even I could finish everything in one day. Did you end up visiting Cal? If not, it's alright. I understand. Just take things at your own pace. By the way, can you check the closet downstairs and see if there's anything you want to keep? We'll probably just throw away whatever you don't want anymore. There's only two days left before I come pick you up. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Okay, chill out. I'm going there. Hold on. Was this always here? Oh, okay, we only have six files. Okay, shoot. Wait, have I ever been in this room? Oh. Okay, okay. Hello? Hello? Mike? Are you there? Is that Cal? Uh, I forget anything else. Yep, it's Cal. Hi, Meg. Top of the morning to ya! <laughs> well, more like noon, actually. It turns out Hero's not coming back until around dinner today, so I thought I'd drop by a little later. Mom is having me buy stuff at Faraway Plaza before he comes back, and... I thought it might be funner if we went together. Did you want to come along, Mike? Of course you do. Come on. Let's go! Kill smell. What the heck? What happened here? Dang it. Must have been Aubrey and the Scooter Gang. Mike, be honest. Do I smell? Can I actually answer that? No? Okay. 
Let me just make sure the volume isn't exceeding my voice a bit. Yeah. God having... Okay. God, I need to fix my setup. Okay, I think this should be fine. Ooh! Wait, hold up, Mike! I know it's been a while since you've been over at my place, but now might not be a good time. I want to pet the dog! I want to pet the... I want to pet the puppy! Hmm, fine. <sighs> Wait, what does our inventory look like? Okay, we got bandages. We're going to a faraway plaza. Why'd it go all quiet? Oh, okay, there it is. Is there one here? Okay. Where the heck do I put this trash can? Oh! Basil! I think. Hey, Kel. Hey, Mike. What's up, Hazel? Nice to see you out and about. Are you feeling better after yesterday? Huh? Y yesterday? What do you mean? You had a big stomach ache, didn't you? That's why you had to go to the bathroom? Mm, that's not it at all. Uh, uh, oh, right. Yes, I feel much better now. Did you want to hang out with us today? Mike's not going to be around for much longer, you know. Don't say that. Don't say that! I don't know. Maybe tomorrow. Sorry. Aw, oh, don't worry. You don't have to force yourself. We can always catch up later. Yeah, you're right. Okay then. See you later then, I guess. What you doing? Oh, is that? F oh, wait. Hello. <coughs> <coughs> ah, this is such a beautiful day, don't you think? I may not have any money, but at least sunlight's free. <coughs> so, anyways, lads, could you spare me some change during this hard time? How much do you want to donate? Uh, we're broke. I'm sorry, but we don't have money. Is that pie? What do we need pie? Go, we need to find money. Wait. Uh, was it me? Wasn't there something with this trash? Was it with you? Yes! Oh, okay, there we go. Nice. Is it all gone? It is! Perfect! Oh. Corner of this. More trash. Alright. Oh, hey bub. Could you spare a few nickels? Really appreciate it. You know what? Here. Have a dollar. Two? I only said one! Jesus. Oh, something's happening.
Okay, I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> Great, now I gotta get the money back again. Oh, yo yo. Can I spam this? No? Okay. Alright, let's go back to the other, um, the other hobo. Let's see if giving money will do anything. You have a dollar. Okay, at least it was actually one dollar, not two. Oh. Okay, I'm not trusting the smelly one. Uh, let's actually save here. Okay, I can't get anything. Do I remember the... Okay, I did. Let's see. I'm pretty sure we gotta stop at Gino's Pizza and the bakery in another mart. Lead the way, Mike. Oh boy, this is kind of loud. Uh... Okay, I think that works better. Just... Uh, yeah, that works fine. That nah, works fine. God, the music seemed a little loud on my end. From OBS. Any trash here? Yesterday when I was eating a banana, I found a cool overlo overgrown lake area just behind the park. But soon after, a bunch of hooligans on scooters rolled in and kicked me out. And to make matters worse, they even threw away my banana. Ugh, I can't let a bunch of kids boss me around. I'm an adult now. A young adult, at least. Good to know. Anyway, he said Gino's and the bakery. Let's explore a bit, though. I'm curious. That was like the time we... Yeah. And then... Honestly, I think that... Yes, definitely. As I was saying, can you believe? And her. But then... Mm-hmm. Are they talking about, um, Auburn? Yeah, I think we're gonna run into Auburn and friends. Oh, there they are. Gina's pizza is the bomb. This is one disgusting, dirty, greasy looking che cheese pizza. Just the way I like it. Let's dig in. So much. Anch. Anch. We're still on to go to our secret hangout spot today, right? The lake? I'm gonna bring my fishing ball. Munch. Me and myself. Munch. I have a cool stick and a jump rope yesterday. Do you think it'll work, Charlie? Eh. Still going to our secret hangout spot? Munch. That was a perfect date spot. Munch. I'll be sure to bring one of my special ladies. Swimming. Munch, 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 munch. Sounds. Munch, munch. Blah, too many munches in my... And my jaw's actually hurting a little. I'm not gonna say the munches anymore. <laughs> ah. Pretty fun. Well. While you're all fooling around being babies, I'm gonna be busy skipping rocks. I've been looking for the perfect... Rocks all week. Huh. You can try all you want, Tim, but you'll never beat Aubrey's record. Shut up, Mikhail. Like any girl would actually wanna... Go to the lake with you without the, you paying them. I told you to call me the map. <coughs> I did my dog. What? <laughs> what a loser. Ah, that story hurt. You paid for this, kid. 
Okay, uh, what are we doing here again? You see yourself? Sure? Okay, I guess not. Wait, do we talk to the... Oh, what's this say? Oh, jeez, hi. So, I see you were peeking at the help wanted poster that I put there. Are you interested in a job? Yes? Cool. Let me help you get started. Oh, you're taking this job, Mike? In that case, I'll come back for you later. Uh, work hard, okay? Uh. So, do you want to hear the good news or the bad news? I'll just start with the good news. So the good news is, we got three different pizza orders today. The bad news is, our delivery boy suddenly called him sick yet again. These customers are all our regulars, so we stopped recording their addresses a long time ago. What? I can't remember where they live off the top of my head, but I do remember what their houses look like. Here, just take these notes and you'll be fine. Pizza notes. I'll go grab your uniform. Am I gonna actually change? Oh! Don't be shy. Your uniform loud and proud and probably not in front of those kids. Now remember, you have three pizzas to deliver. When you're done, just bike your way back to the shop. I'm counting on you. Wait, am I actually... Can you find the house that has the light brown door and the brown rug? Okay. That's a green rug. Blue rug. White rug. Oh, is it this one? This one? What's this not? Pizza delivery! Free pizza? Oh, I shouldn't have. Was that not it? <laughs> what? Oh, I'm such a dumbass! What's the next one? This pizza goes to... Oh! Hey, Spoopy! Haven't seen you in the stream, in any of my streams for a while. Yeah. Welcome to this stream. <laughs> oh, that's a cute little emote. This pizza goes to the house that has the pink car in the... One second. I haven't used the head patch thing in a while, so... Oh. Okay, that should be three seconds. I have a movie Lewis <laughs> show. Ah, uh, it's alright. What matters is that you're here now, so... Calling the drive... The driveway and the yellow flowers in the... I'm just gonna look for a pink car and yellow flowers. I'm glad I was able to... Yeah. I'm glad you- yeah, I was- I'm glad you were able to catch it, too. Uh... This is a pink car, but... Are these yellow flowers? The feeling is so much like- yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. Green, green... Did I miss it? I couldn't have. Wait, is this trash? No? Okay. Pink. Hmm. I see a lot of pink. Was it the first one? You can't leave without delivering the pizza? Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, I think I know where it was. Can I see the notes again? Pink car in the driveway and the yellow flowers in the... What the heck is that supposed to say? Hmm. No. There's a pink car, but no pink flowers. I think it might have been the other one I passed. Hold up. Yeah, 
this one. Maybe? Is it? Hey, wow, you guys came sooner. Okay, you're a customer, thank goodness. Thank you, delivery boy. Oh, the first day is very good. Against all odds, you have successfully delivered the pizza. Next order. Find the house with the flowers of the... Something and the mulch in the backyard? What the heck is that? Flowers of the... Huh? Looks like spoon. But it says something about mulch in the backyard. That's not mulch. Can you match me up? Yeah, I can see how. Hmm. No mulch here. Mulch in the... Sorry, hold on. Flowers of the... Of the... God. Mulch? It's either a noose or a moose. <laughs> I don't know, I'm reading it as like small. Oh, it does look like noose! <laughs> uh, house, uh. Flowers in the. Uh. Can I just like pick a random house and hope it's it? <laughs> Oh, well, I found some flowers, though. Okay, so this house has mulch. I'll keep that in mind. This one just has cars. Uh, Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was this house. Please? Delicious, delicious pizza. I'm coming for you, baby. Is that... Was that good? That's all of them. It's time to head back to Dean's Pizza. And report that I messed up the first one. <laughs> hey, newbie. You're just the guy I wanted to see. I suck. <laughs> some money. Maybe you need to buy some pizza. Oh, nice. I think you've been such a good sport. Here's another freebie. It's one of my all-time favorite tunes. You can play at the jukebox right down yonder. Nah. Hey, mate. How'd you do on your job? While you're working, I decided to sit on the bench and talk to strangers. Man, that was fun. Well, I'm ready to go when you are. Can I do it again? Can I do it again? Hi, I'm here to... Oh! I see. What would you like? Oh, I know. Would you like... Pizza? I think my mom phoned Nora for a hero sandwich this morning. I'm just here to pick it up. Oh, I see. You're the family that keeps ordering sandwiches instead of pizza. But it's on the menu, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah. You're right. I guess so. Okay, I'll go get it. You know, I don't know if I ever told you this, but that's why my brother's nickname is Hero. What is his real name? You think it's because of some really cool reason, like he'd save a puppy when he was a kid or something. But no. He just really likes sandwiches! Wait, then what's his real name? <laughs> okay, here's your hero sandwich. Please enjoy. 
Alright. Cool, thanks. Alright, we're good to go now, Mike. I'm ready when you are. Now we just need to get the cookies from the bakery in Elder Mart. Can we talk to Ani? Let's talk to people. I'm Rai. I take place in I take pride in being a musical connoisseur of sorts. If you play C on the jukebox over there, I bet I can tell you who the artist for the track is. Okay. Sure. Sure. I know the song. His cover of Starbucks Diving by Sam Neeland. Okay, later I have to go check if that's actually a thing or if they're just making up stuff. Ugh, dang it. I'm trying to fix this old arcade machine, but I'm missing a rare important piece. That's a silly way to get the name hero. <laughs> Yeah. It looks like it was just bitten off right here. I wonder what it could be. Okay, that's a little loud for me. That's a little loud on my end. That's leaving me wondering, what the heck is Hero's name? Wait, can we talk to Aubrey? No? Okay. You? Ah, I'm a dun Okay, no. I think you're just here. The thing was- oh! My mom placed an order there? Yeah, I know! Oh wait, no, this is the- That's the pharmacy, whoops. Actually, we might need to- Actually, wait, let's go get some stuff. Oh, here it is. Fresh bread. Fresh bread. Would you like some fresh bread? Yep. Welcome to our family bakery. What would you like? Hi, I'm here to pick up. No, of course your name is Mr. Baker. Hmm. Ah, yes. Your mother said you'd be coming. So I expected you to be here a bit earlier. I'll go grab your order. Did you know this bakery belongs to Mikhail's family? Oh. I guess you can't really tell because he wears that horrible yellow wig all the time. Seems like he's making a pretty big effort to stand out and be different. Here's your order. We hope to see you soon. Please enjoy your baked goods. Okay, what do we do? We have the food. Good to go now, Mike. I'm ready when you are. Where are we going? Should we go outside, I guess? Baked goods. Check. Sandwiches. Check. Well, that's everything. I'm just in time, too. It looks like the sun's about to set. Let's go back to my house. Hero should be coming home any time now. Yeah, I want to see grown-up Hero now. Oh my god. I still haven't seen that yet. It was this one because I wasn't allowed to pet the dog. She didn't walk in the street. That's not what I wanted. Before we go in, I should probably mention that my mom is going to be a little mad about me taking so long with the groceries. I was supposed to bring everything back around noon, but I got to carry away doing other stuff, and I was also doing that job. <laughs> well, you know how it was, how it goes. But anyway, I found a solution for this. So, I think we should walk in first. That way, she'll see you first and get all excited. And most importantly, she'll forget to yell at me. See, it's a win-win for everyone. Get out of it. Okay, let's go. Wait, I want to pet the dog. Bark, bark, bark. Am I a good boy? 
Yes. Dog seems content. Oh, I actually got an achievement for bending the dog. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Do more. Okay, one more time, one more time. <laughs> okay, okay. Mom, Mike's here. What took you so long, Cal? I sent you off hours ago. How long does it take to get a bunch of sandwiches? Oh my, is that Mike? It must be. Good to s go so good to see you again. But dear, you look so thin. Have you been eating properly? Here's the stuff you asked for, Mom. Hurry, Mike. Let's go upstairs to my bedroom. Now wait just a second, young man. Bye, Mom. See you when dinner is done. Upstairs. Which one is it? This one? This one. Oh, dang. Well, it is. Make yourself at home. Look, I got a mask all open in a boombox, just like I always wanted. Here, I'll play a song for you. Yep, it's pretty sweet. Mom won't let me play it too loud, though, because she says it's bad for Sally? Oh, wait. You haven't met Sally yet, yeah? Yes. <laughs> is it the- is it a baby sister? Guess what, Mike? I'm a big brother now- Yes! Sally's my baby sister. My mom will probably bring her downstairs around dinner time. She's really small and really cute. <laughs> Cow! There's a girl at the door. She says she's here to see you. Oh, no, it's Aubrey. Huh? I wonder who that could be. Aubrey. It's totally Aubrey, isn't it? Oh, she could be some other girl. Oh. That's not Aubrey. Hey, Cal. Hey, Mike. S sorry for intruding. I was wondering if you know where Basil is. Oh, shoot. You're Basil's mom. I thought I might be with you. Basil? Hmm. You did see him at the park earlier, but that was a while ago. If you see him, can you tell him to come home? I'm really worried about him. Of course, Polly. We'll be on the lookout. Thanks. I knew I could count on you guys. Basil's missing today? Oh, uh, no. <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Especially with Aubrey and the scooter gang around. Maybe we should try to find him before it gets dark. Should we do it now? Can we go look for him, Mom? Pretty please? Well, that girl did look awfully worried. Ugh. Okay. Just make sure you be home by dinner. Whatever the heck dinner is. I'm sorry, I have to. Oh, wait. Let me, uh... I'm sorry. Was there always a cat here up here? Wait, didn't he have, like, a hangout or something? What? Yeah, he's gone. Man, where could Basil be? I don't see him anywhere. Somebody! Help! Mike, did you hear that? I think that was Basil. Help me, please! Oh, no. Where's this voice coming from? Oh, a sec. I know this area. 
Basil's voice is coming from our old hangout spot, which is probably belongs to the scooter kids, right? I think there should still be somewhere around here. Oh, there's. Oh wait, no, I can't cut them. I don't have the knife anymore. Oh, get away from them! Help me! Somebody! What the heck are you yelling for, Basil? You're making a scene! This place is our secret hangout spot. You can't be here because you weren't invited. Dang it, Basil, be quiet. Someone's gonna find this place. Hello. Yeah, we're not trying to hurt you. We just want you to get out of here. Hey, what's up? <laughs> hey, stop it. What are you doing to Basil? What the? Ugh. It's Kel and Mike again. Why do you always show up? How'd you even find this place? Come on, Aubrey. We gotta defend our turn. Oh, no. Mm. Aubrey? Ugh. Go away, Kel. You're not welcome here. This is our spot. Oh, is this your spot now? Well, this used to be our old hangout spot. Wasn't it, Aubrey? Watch it, or we'll mess you up. Yo, Kel, can I have my knife back? Fine, if that's how it's gonna be, then at least stop bullying Basil. You weren't even doing anything to him. You just started screaming for no reason. Yeah, sure you weren't. Why should I believe you? You're telling the truth. Stop being such a self-righteous prick. Come on, guys. Let's make sure this is the last time these two mess with us. Oh, boy. That sounds good to me. Oh, no. I'm right behind you, the Maverick. Aubrey, please. Spare us, Aubrey. Spare us, Aubrey! Shit. Let's sell this, Kel. You and Mike are gonna pit fight with me and my friends? You got one. Come on, gang. Let's teach him a lesson. Wait, do I have to fight all six at once? <laughs> oh no! I don't wanna do that! <laughs> no! Uh. Wait, do I just fight? Oh, I just fight the whole squad at once, okay. Ouch. Seven damage, come on. Okay, good. Okay, I'll just keep attacking. We all have snacks. Grab a show, bought some snacks. Uh, yeah, let's have a bandage for you. Because I forgot to focus? Hmm. Okay, so I'll attack one out one by one, alright.
Okay, this is this is kind of BS. Is this real life? We won, Master. We won. Serves you right, nerds. Damn, I'm hungry. Let's go get some food. <laughs> Hell, Mike. Get the heck out of here. Was that? Uh, was, wait, was that? Was that supposed to happen? <laughs> Whoa, we really did it. Evil foes have been defeated. Dang. Sorry, Mike. Why did I think we could take on six people at once? Yeah, what the Even if they're a bunch of dweebs. It's over, Cal. Leave this place. You don't belong here anymore. No, I won't. I can't just leave her knowing that this is the person you've become. I mean, what would Mari think? Why do you keep bringing her up? Do I have to keep saying it? Mari is already dead. Can you stop it with that? While you're at it, drop the tough guy act too. I don't believe you when you say you don't care about us anymore. You have all your new friends now. They still hang out at our old hangout spot. Do I really have to spell it out for you? Don't listen to him, Aubrey. He's just spouting crap like usual. Right, Aubrey? <sighs> this isn't fun anymore. I want to go home. Let's get out of here. You said it. You coming, Aubrey? Oh, okay. Catch you later then. Aubrey? Ugh. Ah! <coughs> Ow. Why? Why do you guys keep coming back? I just want you to leave me alone. Mike, why? Why did you show up now? Where have I been? We just want you to stop messing with Basil. What's your deal with him all of a sudden? We used to be friends. We all used to be. Basil, help us please. You think I'm the bully, but you're all messed up too. Where were you when Mari died? Where were any of you? <gasps> and you. Oh no. I don't like the look of this. You're the worst, Basil. How dare you still show your face to me after what you did? What? Aubrey. I... Get away from me! Oh, come on! Wait a minute. Wait. The books we read earlier from, um, when we were still as playing as Mori. Was it about this? Shoot. What the? What the heck, Aubrey? What are you doing? You're taking this way too far. Wait, hold on. I didn't mean to... Mike, don't worry about Aubrey. I'll keep her busy. Just go help Basil. How? Do I have a fear of drowning? Mike, I'll deal with... Oh, whoop. That was actually me. Want to see Basil? No, why would I? Okay. Now we're at the nightmare part again. Darn it. Are any of the doors open? Is 
Is that a Mori? Oh, wait, no, that's Mari. Oh, great. A knife. Oh, what is this? Something tries you down. Well, what is this? Oh, let me heal first. Uh, wait, sorry about that. Uh... There. Steady your heartbeat. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. Something about my struggling, my stigma. You have to keep going. Don't give up. No matter how impossible it seems. I reach out to the voice and remember how to persist. Ooh! New power. Heart cannot reach zero for one turn? Dang. That's actually good. Mike persists. Whoa, okay. Does this thing actually do anything? Can I run? No. Can I do anything? <laughs> Okay, I think I get how to do this. Maybe. What does this, what does this game want me to do? Okay, wait, I'll wait till it reaches 8 and then try using Persist. Because I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Then we can use Persist. Oh, I probably should have used it. Do I just keep persisting? Oh, that's what I was supposed to do. Sorry. 
Hero? Yes, Hero! <laughs> It looks like Basil's breathing is steady. But we need to get him somewhere warm. Quickly. Yeah, he's had a rough day. Let's get him home as soon as possible. Wait. Where do you think you're all going? That's enough. Don't you think you've caused enough trouble? Come on, guys. We gotta go. You wanna come with us? Can I hold? Can you? Okay. Wait, am I carrying? Or? Oh, no, no. Hero's still carrying it. Where the hell does he live again? Basil's breathing is it is not this way? Or is it this way? Oh, yep, here it is. Basil! What happened? Is he okay? His breathing is stable. He just needs a change of clothes and a warm bed. Okay, I can do that. Quick, come inside. Can you help him bring can you help me bring him to his room? Sure thing. Oh jeez. <sighs> Sorry, it's like twelve thirty where it's like twelve forty three where I am. <laughs> Phew, that was intense. I hope Basil wakes up soon. Did we check on him? Uh, this way. Hey, Cal. Hey, Mike. Looks like Basil's gonna be just fine. I heard from Mom that Basil was missing, and that you two went looking for him. When I was running around the park, I heard some commotion coming from our hangout spot. I guess I got there right in the nick of time. So, what was happening back there? Aubrey... She pushed Basil into the lake. What? That was Aubrey back there? No way. She wouldn't do that to Basil. I'm sure there was some kind of misunderstanding. She's not the same anymore, Hero. She's become all messed up after you left for college. Aubrey. What happened while I was gone? Maybe I should have never left. It's not your fault that this happened. Things could have gotten a lot worse if you didn't show up. You've done all you can. Come on, let's go home. And have those sandwiches. Uh, I'll just save the Tabasco just in case. You know, Mike, you were pretty awesome back there. Jumping in the lake to save Basil like that. Even if Hero ended up saving the day. <laughs> I get it. I think you deserve some recognition, too. How about a high five? No, I mean, of course not. Of course. Dang it. Oh no. Okay. I 
I'm sensing an evil presence coming from inside my home. Maybe I'm overthinking it, but I can never be too careful. Can we go in and see? Okay, never mind. Oh, what the? Is that glass just sparkling? Do you open it? <gasps> yes! This is why you don't keep bibbles in how they track me. Okay, I guess that was just a little funny little cutscene. Okay. Cal, hero. Where have you two been? So late, I'm really sick. Sorry, Mom, we got held up. But the good news is, we found Basil, and he's safe. Hmm, honestly, name one place with a bevel yeah, that hasn't been randomly attacked by Satan. <laughs> you have a point. You have a point there, Spoopy. Have you know, I've been spent. I spent all week preparing the chicken roast for tonight's dinner. A week, and it's gotten cold. Oh, mom, please don't cry. Don't worry, mom. That's what microwaves are for. Oh, my poor dinner. Yeah, there, honey. Cheer up. It's a special day. There's no need to be sad. Where's Sally? Look, here's back from college. Good to see you back, champ. Thanks, Dad. Oh, your dad's right. This is no time for sniffles. Good to see you back, hero. We've all missed you so much. Wah! Oh, is that Sally? Ah, it sounds like Sally's awake. I'll go get her. Come on, boys. You must be hungry. Go on and help yourselves to dinner. Cool, let's go grab some food and heat it up. Wait, I want to see Sally. Where is she? Where's the baby? Aww. Okay, not here. But can I see from here? Okay, no. Okay. Oh. Look here, we got your favorites. Some chocolate chip cookies and a big ol' hero sandwich. Oh, how sweet. It's exactly the same as last year. Wait. Did you talk to Dad? I failed to help your mom cook dinner for tonight, but you know she is in the kitchen. Why don't you tell her how good her food tastes? What's this? Ah, okay, I see. Phew. Now that everything's calmed down, we can finally relax a bit. So good to see you again, buddy. Really has been way too long. Oh, and it's good to see you again too, Cal. So, Mike, I heard from Mom that you're moving away soon. That sounds so exciting. Yeah, he is. Tomorrow's gonna be his last day with us. Moving might seem kind of nerve-wracking now, but it really isn't so bad once you get used to it. I think it would be good for you, Mike. 
You learn a lot moving to a new place, and it's nice to have a fresh start. I'm a little sad to see you go, but it'll be okay as long as we keep in touch. <sighs> we sure did have a lot of memories together. Sometimes I miss those days. Blazing around, eating food, drinking juice. Yeah, we did everything together. We went to the park, the lake, the beach. Honestly, what I miss the most is hanging out at your place, Mike. You guys did everything. A big TV, all the newest toys, a grand piano. Wait, we had a piano? And of course, our very own treehouse. Oh yeah, the treehouse was awesome. I wonder if it's still there. Is it, Mike? I don't know. Do we ever have it? <laughs> Looks like the food's done. Let's eat in the living room. We can continue chatting there. Can I get my sandwich? By the way, Hero, Basil gave Mike his photo album yesterday. Did you want to see it? Do you have Basil's photo album on you? Sure, let's look through the album while we eat dinner. Again. <laughs> Can make me different this time. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, I think this is the same as last time. Yeah, it's the same thing. Too bad that some photos are missing. Aubrey stole the album from Basil, but we got it back. Maybe she has the rest of the photos. Hey, Hero, what's up? Are you okay? Yeah, it's just that, well, Mari isn't any of these photos. Oh, you're right, she isn't. <sighs> Still, this album really brings back some good memories. Things were a lot simpler when we were all kids. <laughs> Mike, I have a favor to ask. Do you think you can let us see your house one more time before you leave? Oh, that's a good idea. But you gotta convince mom first. She's probably be, be can, can, blah, blah. She's probably gonna be kind of mad about you not spending enough time with her and stuff. You know how she is. <gasps> there she is! The baby! Hero pretty much thought it was. So I made a little doo-doo, but she's all clean now. <laughs> oh, oh. Small child, small child. Hey there, Sally. Peekaboo. Oh, aw. Stop it, Kelly. You're scaring her. <clears throat> so, uh, hey, Mom. We were wondering if we could go hang out at Mike's house today since he's moving away soon. Oh, but he just came back. And it's already so late. What about spending time with your mom? I'm gonna be here for the rest of the summer, and Mike is leaving the day after tomorrow. We have plenty of time to catch up. I think it's okay for you to spend some time with Kelly and Mike. I haven't seen Mike around for a long time now. It's been a while since the boys have had the chance to hang out. I say we should let them. Where have I been these four years? That's my question. <sighs> Fine then. You boys can have your fun. But you're asked to wash dishes with me for the next week. Sure. I guess I can do that. Hmm. Alright, you're free to go. Come on, Sally. Let's leave your mean old brothers alone. They don't want anything to do with us, do they, Sally? Oh god, it sounds like my parents. Oh, Mom. Hey. 
I'm really glad that we get to hang out and everything. But I also feel pretty bad for leaving Mom all alone. Before we have to ask, let's go to fix it and get some flowers for her. I know she'd really appreciate that. Oh, hero. Always a mama's boy. Oh, I thought he was gonna <laughs> slap him on the back of the head. Wait. No, wait, no, I wanted to just pet him. Come back here. Now you can put- yes! It's been kind of stressful lately, lately, but people watching out here has helps me put things in perspective. I might make it a habit to come to this park more often. I guess sometimes all it takes is to relax is to stop and smell the roses. Mm -hmm. Is there anything new here? Wait, I gotta check something. Wait. I don't have fish! Can I buy fish? Oh, I can! Oh, wait, are you a job person too? Hey! I... I wish I was fluent in Japanese. I'm assuming that's Japanese. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're gonna take this job again? I stop getting jobs, Mike. <laughs> okay. Alright, how bad am I gonna mess this one up? I'm not gonna even read this with an accent. I give you weapon. You kill flies, okay? Okay. Oh, what? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I wanna kill fly! Let me kill the fly! Oh, wait, we're actually... <laughs> oh, we... <laughs> oh, okay, it was just one damage, that's fine. Bop. Serious. Ah! Okay, I just ran into the. There's three of them. <laughs> eh, we're not in any serious danger. I can just still staying angry. I'm sorry, I thought there was actually a fly on my computer. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, god dang it. No, I don't want this. God, I hate wasps. Please. Oh, wait. Why? Any more? Yeah, I think that's all of them. Good job! Yay! Mike, yeah, yeah, how do you do? Wait, what did Hero do? Can I buy stuff? That's not what I wanted everything. Okay, yeah, I don't think. More banjo keys? No. Wait, that might be. Oh, there we go. 260, Jesus! Wait, how much is that cost? 10? Oh, god. Can I buy juice? Good job, I do like chicken nuggets. Same. Green onions. Okay, yeah. Is there a specific flower she wants? Oh, I guess we have. Oh my god, another job. More jobs. Wow, Mike, you're taking jobs now? Look at you all grown up. In that case, we'll come back for you later. Work hard. God, I wish it was this easy to get a job. Alright, kid. Take a good look at the shelves behind you, and you'll probably notice that everything's a big jumbled mess. In an area with a sign above the shelf, it'd be obvious where to put things, but people just don't give a crap these days. Ugh, I hate working retail. Anyway, the sign above the shelf shows the product should be on display. Your job is to move everything back to its rightful place, got it? I'm counting you, kid. Okay, this is actually kind of... What do you want to pick up? Tape. Oh, no, no. Uh... Uh Which one is tape? Can you replace Never mind. Actually wait. Okay, this is just Uh, wait, I can just do this. Which? I'm 
on the shovel. Oh god, whoops. That's not where I wanted to go. I have a wrench. I'm done with that. Didn't take a while. Okay, I'm almost done. Uh, no, wait. That's not what I meant to do. This one. Ah, finally. Give me my money. Huh? What? You're finally done? Excellent, kid. Here's 30? Damn. Give me money, can't you do? Blah, blah, blah. Oh, that's new. Open a visit. What can I interest you in? Can I buy flowers somehow? Oh, before I forget, Mike, here's some money for Mama's flowers. You didn't think I would let you pay for it, did you? I have money. <laughs> wow. We're using all. We're using all of it. I'm gonna love these flowers. Let's drop them off at my place, Mike. Okay, I think we're done here. Unless Hobbies has another job. Oh, whoops. Uh, no, they don't.
we do? Hmm. The city's getting pretty late. We should probably head to your house right after this. You're selling goods to you? Yeah. Where do we put this? Did it go to the mom? Wait, no, this is, uh, the other room. Oh, wait, what? Time to his taller brother once for all- Wait, what? Did I accidentally trigger something? <laughs> this again, Ko? I thought we were over this. Come on, hero. Let's stand back to back like always. So, Mike, which one of us is taller? I'm gonna assume hero. Aw, oh, sorry, Ko. Better look next year. Man, I was so sure I'd be taller this time. It's all that orange Joe you've been drinking. Don't you know caffeine can stunt your growth? Ah, uh, don't blame it on the orange Joe. I just gotta bounce out with the right amount of milk. But, I really hate milk. I think I'm just mix it all up and drink it together. You just wait. Next year, hero. Next year's the year I can feel it in my bones. Okay, can I go now? Where is the mom? We need to give her these flowers. Amen. Hey, Mom, I got you some flowers. Uh oh, are these pink? <gasps> Look at the baby just crawling around the bed. You're beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Girl, you're such a charmer. Just like your old man. I'm sorry for overacting earlier. I know Mike is moving away soon. Try your best to keep in touch. Friends are harder to make the older you get. Mom, that's so depressing. We'll be fine. Yes, I'm sure you'll be. Can I move? Take care, Mike. Know that you'll always have a home here. Oh. Wait, I want to play with the baby. Wait. The child. No. Can I play with the... Meh. Can I play with the baby? Oh, dang, uh... Oh, the cat's gone. Wow. It just hit me. It's been so long since we've been inside your house. Even though we live right next door. Time really flies, huh? Yeah, sure does. Let's go inside. After you, Mike. Oh, this place is cleared out, Mike. Your house feels a lot bigger now that nothing's here. There used to be a couch here where we could watch TV. We'd all come here every weekend and watch cartoons. Ah, fuck. Yeah, and this is the same from the one time we spilled my orange Joe. Oh, no, this is what the stories were talking about. I need to look back through that in the body, like... Dang. Mari got so mad at me. Well, that's because her ste cat stepped in and walked all over the house. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, huh. Aw oh, man, looks like it's getting too dark to go see the treehouse. That's okay. Maybe we can come back tomorrow. Wait, I have an idea. What if we just stay over for the night? Sleepover. It's gonna be the last time in the cast forever, right? And when will be the next time we can spend the night with Mike like this? I'd love to, but Mom's not gonna be too happy about it. She'll be fine. I'm tired of waking up at night because of Sally's crying anyway. You're gonna wash dishes with mom for an entire week, aren't you? You deserve this. Well, that's true. It'll probably be fine. We live right next door, so we'll only be a walk away. Can we actually go? Aw. I'm waiting for the spooky stuff. 
Ah, I remember this hallway. The closet was to the left. And the piano room was to the right. Oh, that's the... Okay. I wonder if the piano is still there. I'll go ahead and see. Is it? Uh-oh. I like the look of this. Don't judge me too hard. I haven't practiced in a while. Let's keep on. I'm gonna push a drink. Margie, show off. <laughs> I guess I still got it. Hey Mike, that reminds me. Do you still play violin? Oh, it's not here. I guess you already packed it up. There was a song you used to play with Mari. It still gets stuck in my head sometimes, but I don't remember what it's called. You two would play it over and over. You'd even hear it from our house sometimes. What was it then? Am I supposed to remember? Uh... I'm sure it would be in the photo album, right? Uh oh, I don't think I was supposed to do that. Okay, here we go. What did it say? Yeah, no. Yeah, it doesn't show anything. Ugh, man, all of a sudden I'm getting really sleepy. I think we should call it a night. That sounds good to me. I have to get up early for my morning jog anyway. So, where should we sleep, Mike? Probably somewhere in your room, right? I remember you used to hate sleeping alone. Yeah, that sounds fun. You can sleep on the floor, if anything. Let's go find some blankets. Hold on, Cal, wait for me. No, wait, don't leave me alone. Okay. The word Omori is... Correct, it is actually across the center. Oh, this is the menu music! Also, when I was commissioned for a BGM, I probably should have used this as a reference music. Wait, no, I think this is... no. Oh, I can't interact with the arc, okay. Oh, shoot, they made a little pillow fort. Hey, Mac, you built a bed fort. I hope you don't mind. This was all Kel's idea. I had nothing to do with it. By the way, hero, why can I got you a gift? It's Pop Chip's Chip Off the Old Block Cookbook. You remember this? Of course I do. Man, I remember when I wanted to be a cook. It seems so silly now. Hey, you were pretty good at it. And you can still be a cook, hero. Uh, it's okay. I don't have time for that anymore. But... You really like to cook, don't you? Then people have to eat, right? So, like, why not? <laughs> I don't think it works that way, Cal. He's such a fast sleeper. I've always been that way, I guess. Thanks for letting us sleep over, Mike. 
I bet it's been pretty hard in this empty house. Especially without Mari. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you more. Everything feels so different now. It seems like you've pretty much stayed the same. It's kind of relieving, to be honest. <laughs> it's really nice to see you again. I just wish Aubrey and Basil could be here too. Anyway, sorry for mixing. It's getting late. I'll probably have to sleep soon too. Night, Meg. I'll talk to you in the morning. Okay, I guess I'm sleeping too. What now? What is their connection, actually? I'm sure they have one. I really hope this wasn't supposed to be a plot twist. <laughs> oh, we're back here again. With no one around. Wait, right? Yeah, no one's there. Wait. What's my allowance? Is there my allowance? No? Hmm. I can find a picnic basket on the end of save. And then just end the stream. Wait a sec, where the heck is everyone? <laughs> I think I'm gonna call it a stream there. I think we got made some pretty good progress this weekend. Uh, where the heck is OBS? <laughs> uh, anyway, thanks for um stay for um checking out the stream. I'm probably not gonna be playing Amori next weekend, but mostly for the sake of variety. I'm definitely having fun with this game, but I kind of just want to like change it up a bit. So I'm gonna have a poll um posted on Twitter for the week and just see what game we'll play from there. I might also maybe do a Wednesday, Wednesday stream, but if I can figure out if I want to, like, do anything on it, actually, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, see you next stream!